a typical classroom, the majority of the teacher's lessons are projected in front of the entire class. This is great, unless you are a student who has low vision. Now these lessons become frustrating, inaccessible, and even painful. There has to be a better way. And there is. Since the source for those lessons are the teacher's computer or a document camera, these lessons could be wirelessly mirrored right to the student's iPad, giving him or her the clearest starting point to access, enlarge, or screenshot images and text in real time. We will now go through this setup using a Windows computer. First, let's go to www.realvnc.com and click on the Sign In button at the top right. If you are setting this up for a specific student, then use their email or a dedicated one just for them, as this account will allow up to five different computer profiles for easy mirroring. If you start putting different students on shared accounts at different sites, then it becomes way more confusing and kind of a mess. So now, enter the student's email address and other needed info, and check the radio button that is labeled Personal Use. So now after selecting the Sign Up button, you're ready to download VNC Connect. Click on the Download button at the top of the page, and the correct download according to your operating system will appear. Let's download and install. Here are some setting suggestions that will make this program run as smoothly as possible, but remember, they're only suggestions. There's really no need for their printer driver, so you could easily uncheck this option. I would highly suggest checking the option to create a desktop icon. This makes it way easier for the classroom teacher to find and turn off VNC if need be. Also makes a pretty little icon. Click on the settings pull down menu on the top right of the window and select options. The first button here is security. This is where you set the authentication to VNC password. This option will require a simple password of your choice that will allow the source computer to be mirrored. Next, go to users and permissions and select global permissions. Make sure that the three check boxes are unchecked. This will allow the student to mirror the source computer, but not to control or mess anything up on the teacher's end. Under settings, options, connections, filter connecting users, make sure both check boxes are checked. When the student wants to mirror a dialog box pops up and the teacher has to accept or click on view only before the student can start mirroring. A student could not mirror the teacher's computer ever without the teacher clicking the OK button. The program will notify the teacher that the student is logged on and mirroring. Now, let's set up the student's iPad. First, go to the all-powerful apps app app and find VNC Viewer and download. Now, when you first open the VNC Viewer app, it wants you to sign in. This is where that initial account setup really pays off. Simply enter the email and password for the VNC account made and... Wow! Now, under the Teams tab, all the computers set up using this process and account will magically appear, meaning a student will walk into five different classrooms and begin to mirror within seconds. Only on the initial mirroring will they have to enter that simple VNC password we made up. So we can enter the password and select the Remember Password option and... They are now mirroring the source or teacher's computer that is being projected to the rest of the class in real time. But wait, what if my teacher uses a Mac? Remember, the cool thing about this setup is the same exact process will work for either operating system. In fact, my team has both operating systems on the same team for once, for once in their lives. Life, 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 life. That's great and all, but what about when the document camera is being used as the source for the projection? Great question, Timmy. Remember, almost every document camera out there has a free program which allows the document camera to be fed and viewed back to the computer, meaning a student who is mirroring again would have access to what's being projected. Once this system is in place, the student will have one touch access in multiple classrooms to what's being projected right at their fingertips in an accessible and comfortable format. Thank you for watching.